Let's look at some other applications of relative velocity. Car A is moving with a velocity of 50 kilometers per hour due north, while car B is moving with a velocity of 120 kilometers an hour due west. Calculate the velocity of the car A relative to car B. Let's draw a diagram. So the velocity of A is due north at 50 kilometers an hour. And then we have velocity of B. It's going 120 kilometers west so velocity of B equals 120 so if we want to work out our resultant you'll notice we have to change the direction of velocity B so we want negative velocity B so negative 120 and that will give our resultant. So our resultant V of A relative to B is going to equal velocity of A minus velocity of B. Now that makes sense if you think of the formula. Remembering that the formula is the velocity of A equals the velocity of A relative to B plus the velocity of B. So to get the velocity of A relative to B on its own, we need to take away the velocity of B from both sides. So that gives us that the velocity of A relative to B is equal to V of A minus V of B. Okay, so we've proven it with a diagram. Now speed is the magnitude of our velocity. So that's going to be the square root of 50 squared plus 100 or well, negative 120 all squared. That's the square root of 16,900 which is 130 kilometers an hour. Now remember speed is the magnitude of velocity. Okay, key point there. Our direction theta, this is our theta. Theta is going to equal inverse 10. Our opposite is 120 our adjacent is 50. That's approximately 67.38 degrees. Finish with a therefore statement. Last example, a light aircraft has an airspeed of 250 kilometers per hour. The pilot sets a course due north. If the wind is blowing from the northwest at 80 kilometers per hour, calculate the true speed and direction of the aircraft, which is actually asking for velocity. So let's draw a diagram. We have our aircraft going north at 250 kilometers an hour. Now we have the wind coming from the north west. So that means it's coming from this direction. So I'm going to draw that so the vector can be added down this way. So that is 80. So our resultant is going to be there that's the velocity we want. 
Now personally I look at that and go it is so much easier to use trig because the wind is coming from the northwest I know this angle is 45 degrees. I have everything I need to use cosine rule. So that's what I'm going to do. So my velocity is going to be the square root of all of that. Let's plug in your information. Go to your calculator. That's approximately 201.53 kilometers per hour. Now I need this angle here. So I can use my sine rule. Plug in my information. I have to multiply both sides by 80. Go to my calculator. Sine theta is approximately 0 0.28. Theta is approximately inverse sine of that, which is approximately 16.5 degrees. Finish with the therefore statement. So therefore the aircraft is flying at approximately 201.53 kilometers an hour on a bearing of approximately 16 degrees true.